off of the Widow, that smart Tracer. You may not think she's great against tanks, but they farm her Pulse Bomb so often, and they're such easy targets to hit. London should be trying to kind of cavalcade this into, let's use Earth Shatter one fight, and then we'll use Zarya on the next fight, and you can kind of stagger those ultimates. I wonder where this Nano Boost is going to go for New York. Oh! No way! Unbelievable! He gets knocked out of the path! Gesture definitely thought he was going to have the charge there and the pin, but it wasn't meant to be. Earth Shadow will start the push. Let's bring out our first team. It's the Dallas Fuel. Oh, boy. <laughs> Felix back. getting his hands dirty already. There's a new monkey in town fresh off the suspension. Yes, and this is why Dallas Fuel brought in XPC. Maybe, because not, maybe not for the YC he has been streaming, has been playing a lot. He's definitely one of the players who didn't have to worry about the maps, which were played in stage one. So he had all this time yeah. to focus on stage two maps. That should really give him an edge. He, he looks pretty excited. I yeah. don't know how their comms are going to suffer from this, perhaps. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was Taimu who was playing the main tank for them previously when they were Ooh. able to win over Shanghai. Uh, this was the guy that they actually brought in to play that more aggressive main tank. And he actually had an interview recently where he was talking about... They, wow, that's a change. That's a change in personality. Excuse me, had an interview recently where he was talking about the changes that they're going to make in Stage 2. And he said the idea was to lock down a core roster. So perhaps XQC is part of this. But for me, it's looking at the supports. You've got Custer, you've got Harry Hook, and then you've got AKM. This could be a trio that's super deadly in stage two. I love it. You got the left side of this team going nuts on the right side. Pretty chill. Don't to worry about the maps, which were played in stage one. So he had all this time to focus on stage two maps. That should really give him an edge. He, he looks pretty excited. I don't know how their comms are going to suffer from this, perhaps. But yeah, I mean, it was Taimu who was playing the main tank for them previously when they were able to win over Shanghai. Uh, this was the guy that they actually brought in to play that more aggressive main tank. And he actually had an interview recently where he was talking about... They, wow, that's a change. That's a change in personality. Excuse me, had an interview recently where he was talking about the changes that they're going to make. Especially when we take a look at some of those old combos that happened on King's Row. Certainly some flashy play and yeah. Gladiator's looking improved too, but they didn't change up their strategies enough. I feel to really merit uh, there as well, but the, really the winning play there was Whoa. much transcendence. He has to. He has to zoom Yada back on this point at 98%. They had to get out there and touch it. Little shock, Discord. Uh, Beach, my man, you're a square. Couldn't make it down today, but uh, wish you the best at home. Uh, and Shock Nation, worldwide, thanks for tuning in and watching. Let's support these boys up here. And with that said, let's go ahead and shoot it over to our casters, Semler and Hex, with more of the action in the second half. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. That is so sick, making the trip down, supporting the boys on the stage. I mean, yes. The is going to be shorthanded for the moment. Now they lose sure for a great dive from XQZ to take him down. That's one tick already for Dallas. Standing strong on the point. Fissure falls, and Gladiators just in complete disarray here. Goodbye, Hydration again. AKM taking out everybody. That would have been a 6K for him if Shaz hadn't dived off the edge. <laughs> Well, that was great play for the Dallas Fuel. The Gladiators start things off this uh, round right here. We'll see what happens. Next, you see come in. He goes to the charge. He says, forget the Earth Shatter, but no, Harry Hook gets Fissure anyway. They're not even going to get the Reinhardt ultimate out. Costa going in now with the Coalescence. They use the sound barrier from Harry Hook as well. Hydration back in. There's a Graviton Surge. There's XQC with the double kill. The time is... The attacking. I think you could try and replicate in your com games. So he jumped from the attacking side into this spot. XQC tries to counter jump him. Slides and surfs his way down that pagoda into the midst of the Dallas Fuel and wipes him dead for Dallas Fuel. Now the thing is, they can fall back. Oh, another nice shot from AKM there. Can't sure. stay alive, though. Sure. Sure. Dancing in the circles. Yeah. He was waiting for his cool. This is okay. Some teams will just posture up here and poke as well to make sure that the other team isn't coming that route. They'll play a little bit of high ground. <laughs> all right, all right. I like it. Bit of the trash and uh, spawn there, but now you got to back that up, San Francisco. I am indeed pocket. It's no other than XQC. He is back, ladies and gentlemen. And he's standing right next to me. What a dominant performance from you and your team. Now, of course, a lot of people have been wondering. We know that you're streaming a lot. You're obviously playing a lot. But during stage one, how much time did you actually have with your team? Uh, at the beginning, I was getting about like, ha like half the time in practice. 
And for stage two, I had uh, one day uh, yesterday, and I did very well. Uh, I was very proud of how I played and uh, how well I improved because I, I, I was a little rusty, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, and now, of course, everyone is super happy to see your face back here on this very stage. So I wanna give you the last word. Anything you wanna say to the people out there supporting you and your team? Uh, I'm super happy to be back uh, after being like a month off and in my room. Um, I'm super glad. Uh, Pog Chem in the chat, and thanks for everyone who supported us. Burn blue! Burn blue! The morning star reigns, and he gets three to bring his team back into this. Man, that is one big saddle he just put on to get his team on his back there. Huge plays from Sabiobi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Deep made all the way in. Oh, style from Tonek! Six sleep! New York, the city that never sleeps. Not the same for London. Take a nap, take a siesta, bye bye He comboed with that barrage, like you said, Noah. That's a big one. He was waiting for this one, and everybody Ooh. just on the ground, eating some rockets. Yeah, I didn't see the three. The ultimate from him could end this uh, round right here. We'll see what happens. Next, you see come in. He goes to the charge. He says, forget the earth shatter, but no, Harry Hook gets Fissure anyway. They're not even gonna get the Reinhardt ultimate out. Costa going in now with the coalescence. They use the sound barrier from Harry Hook as well. Hydration back in. There's a the Graviton Surge. There's XQC with the double kill. The time is building one more time. The last attack for Dallas Fuel. It looks like it may have done it. Earthshatter coming in, but Fisher can't capitalize. And Dallas Fuel will win King's Row. What a great move there by AKM and XQC. They knew yeah. the shatter was up. We healing going. Keeping an eye on Fleta as well on that high ground. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Fleta switched to deal with Roadhog. There's no Roadhog anymore. Baby face switched. Exactly. They've got that soldier in play now. And so Fleta, well, there's the sound barrier. Not wasting any time at all. It's Toby. Gonna boost his teammates up with the hell. Dante is gonna be watching the back. The pulse has gone down. Fleta still barely hanging in here. Baby Bay was hungry for that kill and he gets it in the end. The grab gets committed to it, but they hardly get anything out of it at all as Baby Base continues, continues to just wreck house. Almost impossible now for London. They just lost everybody. There's going to be no one here to really be able to contest in any meaningful way. Meaningful. Yeah. There's always profit. Yes. But you can contest, but he's going to be one before he actually team X Mecco. All right, that profit. Prove me wrong. I'll take it. Wait, he's still alive. Yeah, they're able to get back in here, and both tanks are now out of this mix. Profit saving the day. A beautiful stick on the closer, though, as CBOB equalizes. That could make the difference. Profit still dancing. It's going to be the duel oh, mono on oh. mono. And already profit finding the one on mono. This is big, Sabiobi has gone unbelievable! All right. I've learned my lesson. I think I've called two fights short this entire set. These two teams I cannot do it with because both these teams will contest every bit of the way and then they've just got miracles in their pocket. Mano, Mecco on the floor. Jonak gets in front of him to body block and actually takes the pin and the concussion mine comes down at the same time. So let's rewind this and see how fast it actually happened because Gesture was behind them before they even realized. They had no clue he was there. And so we play this through. The support line have milliseconds to adapt. Jonak jumps in front, takes the bullet, Get down, Mr. President! And then the concussion mine blasts him away. We, sh we show great. you so many Zenyatta kills. That is a top tier Zenyatta play. Yeah. This I'm waiting for some somebody with the interview, right? You know, just get that question in his face. I could totally see like an Olaf Meister moment where it's just like, you know, oh, I, I don't think anybody's better than me. Zumba is still somewhere up top. Yeah, he's up top. He's waiting to jump down at the last second to stall out this car, wait for his team. Hey, yeah, he's still hanging around here. He's got self struck right up into the open. The shield is down. He gets broken as well. And there you go. It couldn't have been better. Quad kill, or might as well be. Nevix will die after he gets DMAC. That self destruct was money. Saw the Winston. So this is okay. Some teams will just posture up here and poke as well to make sure that the other team isn't coming that route. They'll play a little bit of high ground. <laughs> all right, all right. I like it. Bit of the trash in uh, spawn there, but now you gotta back that up. San Francisco Shock, you gotta back it up. Let's see it. That was top notch. <laughs> Back down, Shaz finish him off. Now AKM on the high ground though. Gotta have that attack visor, gotta use it. Nice transcendence from Harry Hook to try to keep him alive. And there's a transcendence coming in from Shaz as well. Nano visor used, but they can't do the damage through the Zen ultimate. Harry Hook falls, but there goes Big Use and Shaz. AKM says, I don't need the ult. I don't need the nano boost. I just need my 
left click and he will use into a checkpoint position with your Widowmaker. It's going to be more difficult with a Widow on the other side of things. But if they can get this card pushed around the bend, they can get a perfect Widow spot. I go into very interesting. A beautiful body block. You're staying in here. Sick work. But in the meantime, Birdring is caught. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. I upload a new video every day, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to get daily notifications for the best on Twitch.